Hello, lovely friends and family. If all has gone according to plan, you should have received your Christmas card stroke song recently, and I hope you're enjoying it. Some of you know that I found it a bit difficult to write a Christmas song because I kept getting waylaid or distracted by consumerism and the way that it kind of takes over our festivities and celebrations. So before I wrote that song, I wrote another song. But that one's more critical and cynical, so I figured I wouldn't send it to you. However, I do know that some of you like a bit of cynicism and criticism, so I am going to record this now. And if you like that kind of thing, then enjoy. If not, turn it off now. <laughs> I imagine this being snuck into a school's concert or something in between Good King Wenceslas and Hark the Bells or something. And I will attempt here to do a mashup of um, boy soprano choir, school choir, church choir, which we've all had to sing in and sing around over the years in schools and shopping centres and churches. This love that's confused has simply got to stop. How did it come to pass that love means so much shopping? Does it mean you love me more if you shop until you pop? How did it come to pass that love means so much shopping? Until you pop 
up. So, Rudolph, what do you think? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. I think you got the tone right. Some of your chords were wrong. Yes, yes. But your tone was quite good. Yes, I've spoken to Father Christmas about this. Yes, yes. It's a big problem. Well done. Yes, yes.